Poetry doesn't get enough mainstream attention these days. It's a mode of engaging with the world that feels like magic. It requires nothing of you other than a willing ear. And it's also a mode of engagement that is not argumentative, it's full of surprise, and it's full of grace. We'll take a little poetry break together, a look at a poem that might help us be more present in the world. Our first poem is by Tracy K. Smith, a Pulitzer winner whose book, Life on Mars, uses space, an interest she inherited from her father who worked on the Hubble telescope, as sort of an entry point into more earthly concerns. You might remember her from the poem, Don't You Wonder Sometimes, which went viral after David Bowie died. Its third stanza begins, Bowie is among us right here in New York City. But today we're looking at a poem called Solstice. They're gassing geese outside of JFK. Tehran will likely fill up soon with blood. The Times is getting smaller day by day. We've learned to back away from all we say and more or less agree with what we should. Whole flocks are being gassed near JFK. So much of what we're asked is to obey. Our reflex we'd abandon if we could. The Times reported 19 dead today. They're gonna make the opposition pay. If you're sympathetic, knock on wood. The geese were terrorizing JFK. Remember how they taught you once to pray? Eyes closed on your knees to any god? Sometimes small minds seem to take the day. Election fraud, a migratory plague. Less and less surprises us as odd. We dislike what they did at JFK. Our time is brief. We dwindle by the day. Smith published this poem in 2011, but here it is six years later, and it's almost two on the nose. Sometimes small minds seem to take the day. Election fraud, a migratory plague, less and less surprises us as odd. There's a strictness to it. It's really old fashioned. It almost sounds like a villanelle. And that structure, it organizes the disorder that the poem is talking about. And it also makes it seem even more uncontrollable, like it all might come bursting out of the poem seams. So I thought about this poem because I saw an AP headline recently. Miracle on the Hudson Legacy, 70,000 Slain Birds. Five days before Obama was inaugurated in 2009, US Airways Flight 1549 crash landed in the Hudson River because of geese. And since then, 70,000 birds have been killed at New York City's three major airports. Obviously, there are bird advocates against this who've been fighting it for years, which is such a reminder of how many injustices there are to fight against in this world, and how fighting for peace always means swimming against the tide. 